then people there we met were saying, now you've come and you're doing a post-mortem. Why don't you start with PDM? Yeah. Use the resources now to do PDM. And we're like, well, we, we shall. You know, it's also a long process to mobilize the resources, but we shall be back. But regardless of the fact that COVID was an eating bonanza, we shall not stop asking the questions that we need to ask as an academic institution. From the morning's discussion, um, what came out clearly as uh, some of the findings that we got is that there was a lack of clarity on the reporting and accountability. There's, there was a proliferation of entities all running around claiming to have the mandate over COVID. Uh, and the result was that some of those who were legally mandated, such as the LC5, were rendered redundant. So the legally established structures were pushed on the side as we saw other structures that had been established for COVID are uh, taking up the space. Uh, this also uh, was evidence of the fact that therefore we have weaknesses, not only in our legal frameworks, but also in the policy frameworks. Uh, we saw presidential directives taking the effect of the law, you know, and putting aside the law. Uh, we also saw regulations under the Public Health Act coming in, you know, all of a sudden, and we don't even know how they have been formulated. So that poses for us a, a challenge as a, the Human Rights and Peace Center and the School of Law. How can we work with the law uh, for this dilemma, for this uh, challenge of COVID, but also for other crises? Um, other than that, the, there's also been the issue of the challenges in the process. Uh, issues of disbursements, procurements, information sharing and coordination. We've had stories about the non-functioning ICUs, the oxygen plants that were never set up, ambulances that never arrived, and education materials. So there are so many stories. And when you go from region to region, the, the, sto the stories are similar and they keep validating each other. But we, all, we have also seen and we found on the ground that there are so many government initiatives that are complementary but are uncoordinated. So there is an uncoordinated troop movement. And perhaps this is also part of the deliberateness that uh, Honorable Katesh talked about to move, you know, to create it an eating bonanza. Have confusion so that you eat a myoga, PDM is on the ground, we are seeing caramoja, locusts, Ebola, you know, nodding syndrome. So there are so many issues. Um, and this creates the opportunities for people to maneuver. But going forward, uh, what is it that we can take up as we keep executing this initiative on um, COVID accountability? Um, we have received pointers on the law. We are going to look uh, further and see if are there are areas of improvement, for example, in the Public Finance Act, how can we work within the law? Uh, we've also received recommendations on ICT, uh, this is an area that can help us to enhance information sharing and coordination. Um, the partnerships with civil society, the academia, I think we need to enhance uh, that coordination and partnership and working together. Um, and then of course the community. It doesn't help for us to talk to ourselves without involving this pressure group. While the pressure group is busy talking about uh, Nyege Nyege and, and all those other things, I think we need to you know, try and, and harness. Uh, I, I had a, an ultimatum in the parliament also about this issue. I don't know whether some of you parliamentarians broke it and went, but some of us are people from Ginger, so. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you see how these things catch the attention of the youth especially? We need to see how to bring on board our young population so that we interest them in the issues that really matter. And then of course at the end of the day we will really appreciate uh, to have you as the voices, as our champions that uh, we can work with. We look forward to supporting you as the school of law with research, with information. Uh, we also look forward to receiving information and pointers from you. So, so we hope that uh, the future engagement through the WhatsApp group can be that avenue uh, through which we can keep engaging uh, on this issue of COVID. Uh, Honorable Deke mentioned the issue of political will. Um, she said that there, there are people in parliament who sit on the front bench and they, they give no answers. I will also pass it on to my principal. I don't think I'm, I'm mandated to talk about political will. I know it's a problem 
I don't know what we can do about it at Mackay University and the School of Law. But what I can say is that for us, uh, we all play our part. If you want to infect an, a, an elephant with uh, malaria, you keep biting and making small mosquito bites. I believe that through the TACO initiative, we are also biting slowly through the information, through having this engagement.